We got all the trucks set up. And y'all know what that means. It is time for event number seven of season one Monster Jam's points competition. Sorry that I took a little break for uh from recording this episode. Um I do I got back from the mountains on Saturday, I believe. So and I couldn't record it Sunday because it was raining and the lighting sucks. But hey, there's it's really cloudy, but hey, there is some sun, so that's why I'm recording it, and it's actually the good lighting as well. And so, um, I will only be going over your previous champion. I won't be going over who's in the points lead. I will do that at the end clip, because I just want to um, speed this clip up just a little bit. Anyways, your previous champion is Monster Gym Collector 2007 in the Blackout Max D. He takes on the World Final 16 Bounty Hunter in round number one. So, we do kick off round number one with Fire Zombie and Zombie Megalodon. I'm going to try to speed this clip up just a little bit. I'm going down kind of fast. So, hopefully you guys um, hopefully you guys remember what truck you're in. <laughs> but, just find your race and that's who you will be facing. And then it all off with Nitro Neon's Dragon and the Hunter's Son of a Digger. So, time to get event number seven started. As always, kicking round number one off with Zombie Megalodon and Fire Zombie. Zombie Megalodon will get it. And by the way, I'm sorry if my camera goes in and out of focus. I can't control it. Oh, Stone Crusher takes out BKT with a block. And, ooh, all right, let's check it out here. So, Batman is not pressed up against there. Neither is Mystery Machine, but Batman is a lot closer to the board. So, we'll give it to Batman. Looks like we got ourselves a zombie versus hunters battle. And it's gonna go to Hunter Soldier Fortune with a block. Oh, that was a hard bounce for the Elemental Trucks Gravedigger. Whiplash ain't even pressed up against there. And Gravedigger's a whole lot closer to this board, so we'll give it to Gravedigger. Oh, bad bounce for Gravedigger. Doesn't matter, he's still gonna get the win. Don't look at me like that. You're not coming in. All right, I'll let you in after this race. Golly. Oh, great save by the zombie zombie. The Mohawk Warrior will get the win. Okay, fine. I'll let you in. Come on in. Join the party. No? Okay. Oh, that dog. Okay, here we go. E oh, wow. I thought it was going to be El Toro Loco, but it looks like Alien Invasion, and it is going to be Alien Invasion. Well, he wanted to come in. He wanted to come in the room now. That's a bad spot for you. Anyways, I'll rerun this race. I just want to see what happens. Jurassic Attack will win with a block. Dude, why do you have to get in the way all the time? Well, he's over there sniffing out that tree. Don't bite it, please, dog. Jurassic Attack actually didn't even hit Rogan, so he'll move on. I watched the replay over and over. Can you please stop sniffing that tree? Dude, you're gonna knock that over. Rogan. Thank you. Golly. Man. Ooh. Let's check it out. And it's gonna be Zombie Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Rogan actually ended up hearing my sister, so I let him out before this clip even started. So we're good now, we're good. And a big win for the Reveal the Steel Horsepower. It looks like it's gonna be Salvager, although t Men's tried to come back. Yeah, Salvager's gonna get it. And oh, wow, both of these trucks look like they had bad bounces, and they both did, but Bakugan is closer to the board, so he'll get the win. And... What a race. Zombie Monster Mutt will get the win. Nice wheelie by Soldier Fortune, but it's going to cost him. Whiplash will get the win. It's going to be Hunter's Earth Shaker with some help from Reveal the Steel Wonder Woman. Racing Cane Flips, that'll give the win to Reveal the Steel Avenger. And it is going to be the Fire and Ice Grave Digger. Oh, there we go. And it's going to be the Boneyard Trucks Grave Digger. 
All right, let's check out the bounces here. Not pressed up against there. Two, one tire for Pirate's Curse, so Pirate's Curse is moving on. And it is gonna be Horsepower getting the win. And it looks like it's gonna be Isol Toro Loco, and it is. It's gonna be what a race Queen B holds on and he'll get the win. Here's your previous champ. And he'll still get the win over the World Finals Bounty Hunter. Ooh, good race. Dragon has two tires and one tire for... No, is that even a tire? No, that's not even ty t a tire. So anyways, Dragon will get the win. Oh, nice really by Crustacean, but the Ice Pocket Gun Dragonoid will get the win. It's gonna be Fire Megalodon. It's gonna be, oh, I had I thought I had to move up, but Ice Northern Nightmare will get the win. Big win for the Hunter's Max D. Oh, I can hear Rogan in the background. Anyways, Maximum Destruction will get the win. Ooh, all right, let's check out the bounces. He does not have a single tire pressed up against there. Neither does Scooby-Doo, but, uh, but the Red Max D is a lot closer uh, to the board, so we'll give the win to Max D. And your final race of round number one is going to be between the Nitro Neon's Dragon and the Hunter Son of a Digger. And it's gonna be, oh my gosh, what a race. I have to move my hand over here so I can get a close up. Oh my gosh, it looks like Dragon is closer to the board, so Dragon will get the win. Move up, get out of the way, hand, golly. Alrighty guys, so these 32 trucks do get a total of one point for event number seven. And if I do recall, BKT, Zombie Blue Thunder, and the Decade of Destruction Max V were all top contenders in the points. Um, from the last episode, so I don't know. I mean, I don't know how that's gonna shake up the points But we'll check that out in the last clip. So anyways, here are your trucks in round number two We are gonna kick it all off with zombie Megalodon and stone crusher and we're just gonna head on down here Then up to this row Ended it all off with red max D and the nitro neon's dragon. So here we go. Starting round number two off with Stone Crusher and the Zombie Megalodon. I feel like I said Megalodon wrong. Anyways, Stone Crusher blocks Megalodon for the win. Golly, that race was too close to call. Wow, Batman driving over Soldier Fortune for the win. Alright, I'm going back to watch the tape to see if he actually fell off the side. After looking back at the tape, his wheels were perfectly straight. Yeah, they were perfectly straight. He just got a slow start, and then he just fell off the side. So he'll sadly get eliminated by the zombie grave digger. Golly, hate when that happens. Ooh, great race by both trucks. We'll check out the bounces here. No tires for Alien Invasion, and still no tires for the zombie Mohawk Warrior. But Alien Invasion is a whole lot closer than Mohawk Warrior. So Alien Invasion is moving on into round number three. Alright, let's check out the bounces here. Jurassic Attack has no tires at all. And Monster Mutt Dalmatian doesn't have a single tire, but wow, look at how close Jurassic Attack is to Monster Mutt. So, we'll give the win to Jurassic Attack. Man, all these races are so close. It's a good series. Oh, what a slap wheelie by horsepower, but Salvager will get the win. Ooh, I think we have a bad bounce for Monster Mutt. And yeah. <laughs> Golly, that was a great voice crack. Yeah, we did. So Gold Blocker Gun Dragonoid will get the win because he's a whole lot closer to the board than Monster Mutt. And it's going to be Reveal the Steel Whiplash getting the win. Wow, great race by both trucks. Bad bounce by Avenger. And then Gravedigger has a tire up there, so Gravedigger's moving on. 
Oh, bad flip for Pirates Cursed. I'll give the win to the Boneyard Trucks Gravedigger. Oh, look at El Toro Loco come back from behind. Gotta move my hand out of the way. Looks like we got one tire for horsepower and one tire for El Toro Loco as well. So, time for a rerun. If El Toro Loco didn't come back, he would have lost that race, definitely. But... He'll get the win over horsepower in the rerun. Now we got your previous champion taking on Queen B. And it's going to be your previous champion with a block. It's going to be the Ice Bakugan Dragonoid. Oh, bad f flip. I don't even know what happened to Megalodon. I don't even know if that was a flip. But Ice Northern Nightmare will get the win. It's going to be Maximum Destruction getting the win. And your final race of round number two is going to be between the Red Max D and the Nitro Neon's Dragon. Red Max D flips, that'll give the win to Nitro Neon's Dragon. Alrighty guys, so these 16 trucks do get a total of two points for this event. So sorry guys, better luck next time. Yeah, we do got some, we do got some names in here who did lose this round. The only one I can think of is uh, Hunter's Earthshaker. And then uh, the Zombie Megalodon as well. So yeah. I don't know how that's going to affect the points or not. Anyways, here are your trucks in round number three. We are going to kick it all off with Stone Crusher and Batman. And then we're just going to go on down here. Ooh, we got a Gravedigger battle. That'll be a good one. Ice battle. We ended it all off with Maximum Destruction and Nitro Neon's Dragon. So, here we go. Kicking off round number three with Stone Crusher and Batman. Stone Crusher flips. I'll give the win to Batman. Alien Invasion flips, that'll give the win to Grave Digger. I feel like I just said the exact same thing, but with Stone Crusher. Salvager flips, that'll give the win to Jurassic Attack. Man, I just said that. Golly, that's three in a row. Could I make it four with this race? Nope, can't make it four in a row. But Whiplash Reveal the Steel will get the win. What in God's name happened? I didn't even see him hitting maximum destruction. Oh, well. Oh, that's why, because this part was all the way in, and it went like that. Uh, we'll get the win to the Fire Knife Grave Digger, though, but that was brutal. Man, I feel bad to whoever was driving the Boneyard Truck's Grave Digger. Hopefully they're okay. What kind of a race was that? Well, your previous champion will get the win, but hey, now that's a race. Man, we are having so many great races this event. Can this be another good one? Oh, it looks like it can. But the Ice Dragonoid will get the win. And your final race of round number three is going to be between Maximum Destruction and Nitro Neon's Dragon. We'll see if he can win after Boneyard Truck's Gravedigger completely annihilated him. And he will win. Wow. Alrighty, guys. These eight trucks do get a total of three points for event number seven. That's right in the middle, so that might help or help you... I might move you down in the points or move you up. I don't know. Three big names lost in this round, which I can remember. Uh, Inversailing Invasion, Salvager, and Nitro Neon's Dragon. So, we'll see what happens with the points. We'll see what happens. Anyways, here is your trucks in the quarterfinals. We're going to kick it all off with Batman and the Zombie Gravedigger. Then we have Nitro Neon's Jurassic Attack taking on Whiplash, Reveal the Steel. Oh, now that is going to be a race to see. Your previous champion taking on, I'm pretty sure he's your points leader. Uh, I'm pretty sure Fire Knights Gravedigger is your points leader. And ending it all off with Maximum Destruction and the Ice Bakugan Dragonoid. So, here we go. It's gonna be Batman with a block. Slow start for Whiplash, but hey, he comes back pretty fast. But he's not even pressed up against there. Jurassic Attack has two tires, so Jurassic Attack will take out Whiplash. Now, this is the race I've been dying to see. I'm pretty sure Mac Bulldog Mac is your points leader, or he might be tied with Salvager, but I think I think he's still gonna be your points leader after this. And then you got your previous champion, so here we go. But it is gonna be Mac Bulldog Mac taking out your previous champion. And your final race of the quarterfinals is gonna be between Maximum Destruction and the Ice Bakugan Dragonoid. Ooh, great race, but Maximum Destruction will get the win. 
Alrighty guys, so these four trucks do get a total of four points for event number seven. That's pretty good. Now, I'm pretty sure that will definitely help you guys move up. Man, your previous champion will not win back to back. But um, hey, four points is still pretty good. Anyways, here are your trucks in these semifinals. I have the paper right here, so let's say some names. Inside of Batman, you have Hockey Arcade and Coins. Inside of Nitro Neon's Jurassic Attack, you have Ice Storm. Inside of the Fire and Ice Gravedigger, you have Mac Bulldog Mac. And inside Maximum Destruction, you have Savage Boy 84. So, let's get this semifinal started all off with Batman and Nitro Neon's Jurassic Attack. And it's going to be Jurassic Attack moving on to the championship race. Oh, and also, by the way, I'm sorry if you hear snoring in the background. It's just this dude, so, yeah. So, who's going to join Ice Storm in the championship race? Mac Bulldog Mac or Savage Boy 84? It's going to be Mac Bulldog Mac, I'm pretty sure, once again. So these two trucks do get a total of 5 points for event number 7. That's pretty good. That'll definitely help you guys in the point standings when I show off the points. So, in the championship race of event number 7, inside of Nitro Neon's Jurassic Attack, you have Ice Storm. And inside of the Split Paint Job Fire and Ice Grave Digger, you have Mac Bulldog Mac. Mac Bulldog Mac has made it to the championship race and won it, actually. So, can he become a two-time champ? Or, or a first two-time champ of this season? Or will Ice Storm upset him? Let's go see. So here's the first race. Your winner is gonna be Ice Storm. Wow. Will Ice Storm win event number seven and get a total of seven points? Definitely moving him up in the points. Or will Mac Bulldog Mac get a win and tie and force another race? He ties it. Unbelievable. Well, I would have to say that event number seven has been a great success. So many great races, and there's a, there's been a lot of wild races, including that one between, uh, where's he at, where's he at? I saw Toro Loco in uh, the Blackout Maxi. That race was literally so cool. I've never ex experienced anything like that before with these trucks. Anyways, who is your winner of event number seven? Is it going to be Ice Storm, or is it going to be Mac Bulldog Mac? Your winner is going to be none other than... Mac Bulldog Mac has done it once again in the split paint job, Fire and Ice Grave Digger, getting a total of 7 points. So right now, as soon as I'm done with this clip, you guys will be seeing, um, you guys will be seeing who is in the points lead, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Mac Bulldog Mac. Alrighty guys, so here are your total points for Season 1. Like I said, Mac Bulldog Mac is your points leader with 32 points. He does have a good commanding lead. But right on his tail is Monster Jam, Firestorm, and Salvager. He has 29 points, and right now he is 3 points behind. Third place is Monster Jam Collector 2007. He is 5 points behind. Natural Neon's Dragon is 6 points behind. Zombie Blue Thunder is 7 points. And of course, I'm reading on the side. Um... Decade of Destruction Max D is 10 points behind. Hunter's Earthshaker is 11 points behind. Zombie Megalodon is also 11 points behind. BKT is 12 points behind. And Inverse Alien Invasion is 13 points behind. So that is only your top 10. I only did that for your top 10. But other than that, hopefully you guys can find your name. and see what place you are. I'm pretty sure there's like four pages of this, so... Yeah. Took me a while to make this, but oh well. And I'm pretty sure there is four guys who have not made it past round number one. And yeah, that is true. Those top, those, uh, these four drivers right here, Adam the Ultra Savage, Shane Lickfarty 2, Jesus Esparza, and, uh, Monster Jam Dallas. So, hopefully those four guys can get, um, a win in the next upcoming event. Or the next event, I should say. So... That is how event number 8 turned out, guys. We got ourselves our first ever two-time champion in Mac Bullock Mac. So, congratulations, man. You completely deserved it. And so sorry to Ice Storm and the Nitro Neon's Jurassic Attack. You came so close, man. Just make it that one step further. And I know you will get your win eventually. So, that is how sign-up series... <laughs> sign-up series? What? Uh, so that is how event number 8 turned out, guys. Um, so make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video. Why not consider subscribing? It's 100% free, and you guys can always undo it. By the way, we are 3 subscribers away. 3 subscribers away from 500. So, can we do it tonight? Can we, can we hit 500 subscribers tonight? 
I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So, um, you guys can always undo it. I'm not forcing you to. But anyways, I will make a 500 subscriber special if I do hit it. So, just saying. Um, and also, one off, follow me on Instagram. I'm MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I am going to post. And you guys get reserved trucks for uh, points competitions and sign-up series. So, it's really worth it. But, I'm not forcing you to. Anyways, this is Monster Jam Fan 0311 signing out.